Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here, and I am entitling this video, Accidents Happen. Um, for the good and for the bad. So first off, let me just explain to you, a happy accident would be this guitar here that just um, accidentally happened. Um, just kidding. But I do want to explain some, um, maybe some accidents that turned out to be pretty cool. Number one. Number two is... I had the unfortunate thing happen to me today. This little staple here um, actually impaled my thumb right here and actually went all the way through and my fingernail stopped it on this side. If it wasn't for my fingernail, it would have gone all the way through, but a tink hit on the on my th thumbnail side and it's like, oh, ow, ooh, ee, ah, 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 ouch. And the only thing that really happened was a little spot of blood came out there. And it was, it was, it's sore right now, sore, 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 and a little bit swollen. But to be honest with you, in about 15 minutes, dude, it was like kind of, I could bend it again and I could keep using it. So that actually wasn't that big of a deal, other than the fact that it's really sore, um, kind of like I smashed it. But um, thankfully, nothing worse. The worst part of this here is this splinter here. And I, it's like there is a splinter there. This is like day three of this thing here. Hasn't worked its way out. I've been kind of coaxing it and trying to help it along. But my gosh, this thing, this thing is actually really sore. Um, and it's hot. It's, that finger's hot. So I think it's infected. So anyhow, so I have two, both of these fingers, my thumb and my index finger are, are basically useless. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? They're useless. So I'm having to play with my middle finger and my ring finger entirely so that's the disclaimer but here is an interesting thing so i was talking to my daughter and she was explaining to me about these rubber saddles and how that they make the sound very 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 unique and so i was it got me curious and so what i did is i got a um, just a regular schoolroom eraser and i cut it exactly in half here's the other half right here um, cut it exactly in half, and then I put a little s screw on it so that it would be the exact right height to give me um, kind of an intermediate medium action. So if you can see that there. So I still have the back angle, and I still have it, you know, everything still the right height. And I'm telling you, guys, the sound... It, it, this is just my opinion, okay? But the sound is so, like rubbery i guess and kind of bouncy kind of so, so to speak Here, here's here's an example can you use my pinky Doesn't that sound cool? That's all, that's unplugged. No plug. Doesn't have that harshness to it. So I'm really curious what it's gonna sound like plugged in. Right, let's plug it in. So the sound samples are straight up and no effects, no nothing. This is the Vox Mini. I'll set it right here. And gosh, when you have a sore thumb and a sore index finger and you go to tune, it's like those are the fingers that you tune with. You're like, oh my gosh, talk about a handicap. See, it's off and I got to grab it. This is how this is how bad it is, guys. Check this out. Um, so you get I'm, I'm gonna tune. You gotta grab it like this. Can't use my 
index finger. sound settings there's absolutely nothing going on there that is just the sound of that rubber that rubber saddle so and I am tuned typical tuning E B ah, E E B E Might not be exactly EVE right now because I've been stretching them out, but that's the ballpark. It's so hard, man, not to use your index finger or your thumb for that matter. fingers like ah, it's like electric shock into my brain so let me explain this fretting system here so this is the typical blues scale uh, you could also think of it as a minor pentatonic with a flat five and a major second so so if this is to an E this would be E minor pentatonic If this was like a normal fretting, this would be the open, the third, the fifth, the seventh, the tenth, and the twelfth frets. So here's an interesting, interesting trick that you can do um, when you're in this tuning with this little fretboard situation here. So we're, we're going to, instead of doing the open string as being a root... Instead of that being the root, we're going to make our root be here. And I got to be real careful because I'm using my thumb on the back here and my index finger. So it's like, ah, that hurts so bad. Never mind. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to use this finger. So here's my root. So I'm going to come up here to the 10th fret and that's going to be my four chord. up here at the 12th fret or the open that's going to be my five chord now 
Now, if you wanted to go do that back and forth rockabilly thing, I'm gonna have to do it with my pinky here because my index finger sore. You go like. Now here's another cool thing here. So here's, again, this is the root. Here's the four chord, back to the root. I'm gonna go down. So when you're at the, when you're at the five chord, it's open. Dude, isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. Again, that's starting here at the what would be the fifth fret, just barring it, and that's this is gonna be your home base now. Dude, we could jam all night for hours and hours and hours, but I gotta go to bed. That was all unplugged too, by the way, the amp is off. What was I thinking? I wasn't. Try to practice my licks, but with these fingers. <laughs>